Hey guys, so it has been a while since we last talked. I've taken a two week break. Uh, a lot of you know because I've been in Uganda for the past two weeks, but I'm super excited to be back. This is the first video that I'm filming kind of um, having come back from my trip. So hello, how are you guys all doing? Uh, today I really just wanted to share a little bit of a fall favorites type of video as well as a bit of a life update on how my trip to Uganda went because I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about that. Uh, but let's go ahead and start off with my favorites. I definitely had a few favorites for really just the past fall season, uh, kind of clothing, beauty items, and then some experiences and music as well. So let's go ahead and dive right into this. One of my favorite things for just this fall season, something that I've been looking forward to for the past few months, is that Organic Basics just launched their first ever activewear line. And I've talked about Organic Basics before on this channel. I love them because they're all about making ethically and sustainably made products that are made with like good quality materials. I've had their bra and underwear before um, and their organic cough, extremely comfortable. Like I'm literally wearing my Organic Basics bra right now. Uh, super comfortable, like I love their stuff. So when they told me they were going to be releasing a line of activewear, I was like, yes, please sign me up uh, and I love what they're doing with this line of activewear because instead of you know taking the traditional route of making everything from like brand new materials they're choosing to use 99% recycled materials um, which is absolutely fantastic they're using recycled nylon and some other materials to create their products and not only are these things like incredibly sustainably made but they are ridiculously comfortable I'm uh, <laughs> wearing their leggings right now and I have to say like I have been living in these Christopher the other day was like Ashley you haven't taken them off in like two days I mean they're really comfortable so um but yeah so uh Organic Basics just launched launched their new activewear line and they very kindly sent me a pair of the activewear leggings as well as the activewear bra this activewear line uses 90 percent less water waste than virgin nylon, 80% less CO2, and it's 99% recycled, and so that's what they're making uh, their garments out of is recycled nylon. So yeah, if you couldn't tell from that, super excited about their new stuff. If you're in the market for active wear, highly recommend checking their stuff out. It's super comfortable and great quality. I think I also have a discount code that they gave me, so I'll just go ahead and insert it here and you can find it in the description box below as well. So yeah, check their stuff out. Next up is my Everlane Cashmere Mock Neck. I've been wanting to invest in cashmere for quite some time now and this was my first cashmere piece I've ever gotten. Uh, I bought it from Everlane because I love their transparency, their ethics, everything like that. And this piece is really, really comfortable and I love just that sleek modern silhouette that it has. I have found myself reaching for this piece quite a few times since getting it earlier this season and know that I'm definitely going to be reaching for it uh, in the coming months as well. So yeah, that has definitely been a huge favorite for me for just the fall season and once again, I know it will be going into the winter as well. Uh, moving on, I'm not actually going to talk about it because I feel like I've talked about it several times in recent videos, but my Nord Green watch has barely left my hand since I got it so <laughs> that's been a favorite but one thing that I have kind of restarted wearing um, I was kind of off of wearing jewelry for quite some time but I've started wearing earrings especially a lot more recently and just jewelry in general but my Madewell uh, just kind of like hexagonal brushed gold stud earrings that's kind of a mouthful, but that's essentially what they are. They're just like little gold hexagons, um, but they're really beautiful. I absolutely love the way that they just add that like little tiny touch to any outfit I wear. And especially because I've got a gold watch now, just kind of having that like repeated metal in my wardrobe is really nice. So I'm a huge fan of these earrings and I've owned these for quite a while now, but I've just, like I said, started wearing them more often and really enjoying them. Okay, one more clothing and jewelry type of piece. My best friend for my birthday gave me this little necklace and it has a little pottery mug on it that is so, so adorable. Um, 
for any of you who know me or have followed me for any amount of time, you probably know that I'm obsessed with T1 and potteries too. And so this is just like a little, uh, just a little reminder of two of the things that make me happiest in life. Um, and it's just, yeah, just this like adorable handmade pottery mug on a necklace. And it's just so cute. I've been wearing this quite, quite frequently. Um, and it's, it just like, if you were to say like one thing that encapsulates me, it's this little mug right here. Oh, also I love miniature things. So yes, I've been quite a big fan of this and this has to be one of the most thoughtful like birthday presents I've ever received. Okay, and then I wouldn't necessarily classify this as like, I mean, it technically is an accessory, but it's more of a practical one. I bought blue light glasses not too long ago so that I would be able to like reduce the eye strain that I was experiencing because between editing YouTube videos and uh, what else do I do on the computer? I do grad school online and I also work remotely. It's a lot of staring at a computer all day long and so I was just starting to experience some eye strain, some headaches from staring at the computer too long so I decided to try out some blue light glasses, just picked them up off of Amazon and have been really actually very pleased with the results that they've given me. I wouldn't say I wear them all the time, when I'm looking at a computer screen, but probably at least 50%, and I do notice that they help. It's kind of been an adjustment for me because I don't actually need glasses, like wearing glasses. I mean, I like how they look, but um, it has kind of been a bit of an adjustment, like getting used to having glasses on all the time. But I mean, other people do it 24 seven, so I can afford to do it a few hours of a day. Uh, so yeah, I'm uh, pretty happy with these. Moving on, this is a Burt's Bees BB Cream. That's a mouthful and a half. Um, I ran out of BB Cream and I've just kind of been ba going back and forth, uh, trying to find the one that I really like. And it's been surprisingly a struggle for me trying to find something that's like mostly natural, that's cruelty free, that works, <laughs> uh, that has the right amount of coverage, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And this one uh, has definitely been the best one that I've tried so far. I'm a huge fan. I love the fact that it's got a little bit of sunscreen in there. It's got SPF 15. It's 98.9% .9 natural and Burt's Bees is a cruelty free company as well. And all of their products are made without uh, parabens, sulfates, and petroleum, SLS, all that good stuff. So it's definitely on the cleaner side as BB creams and beauty products go. And I've really, really been enjoying using this. It goes on my face well, it provides like just the right amount of coverage where it's like a little bit to even out my skin tone but isn't necessarily like thick and covering stuff up. I like the feeling of having my skin able to breathe. So yeah, this has definitely been a favorite for the month. I think that's the only beauty product. Two home favorites that I've had this month. I recently found this beautiful little handmade pottery mug. I love the fact that you can literally see that it was made in North Carolina, uh, which is where I live. And so I think it's just absolutely adorable, this like beautiful little green pottery mug, handmade obviously, and that is, you know, something that I love. So. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of this guy. I think it's a really fun color and it has kind of like a, I don't know, just kind of like an 80s color vibe to it. I don't know. I really like it though. And then the other home favorite I've had this month is this hearth and hand candle from Target, the like Chip and Joanna Gaines line. Um, and it's in the scent Frosted Amber. It is a soy candle. Oh, and guys, it smells incredible. It like, I leave this thing burning sometimes in our kitchen and it just like fills the entire place with this beautiful aroma and it is fantastic. Not only that, but this is a really, really, really cute like jar that it's in. I'm definitely going to try to reuse this after it burns out, which unfortunately is going to be pretty soon. But yeah, this is definitely a favorite of mine for this month. I'm a huge candle person, Christopher is too, so I've been getting a lot of use out of this one. Okay, I'll run it through these last few ones before I get to the life update really quick. My favorite food this month has been apple crisp, specifically a homemade apple crisp recipe that I've been making. I've been making this delicious like gluten and dairy free apple crisp and eating quite a bit of it. But um, So that's been really delicious and I've absolutely loved that. 
And then a music artist that I've been loving this month is Ben Rector. I went on a two hour road trip out to the mountains to see my sister just this past weekend and on my way there I listened to lots of amazing music. <laughs> uh, mostly Ben Rector. I went through a couple of his albums and it's just like perfect like fall feel good music like with the leaves changing and everything it just feels like so perfectly timed so yeah ben rector have been loving listening to his stuff over the past few months that's been awesome okay moving on to experiences one of my favorite experiences kind of before uganda was apple picking i went apple picking with my best friend and christopher in the mountains like I guess it was like close to three weeks ago now and it was so much fun we went to it was called sky top orchard in North Carolina and it is literally like on top of a mountain and so as you're picking apples you get to like overlook at the North Carolina mountains around you and it was so so gorgeous side note like we lost our keys and had to like eat apple cider donuts while waiting for AAA to come and rescue us and fortunately I had an extra key in the car um, so it wasn't that big of a disaster it was actually just a funny story <laughs> but yeah if you have never been apple picking or if maybe you know it's been a while since you went apple picking try to put that on your calendar for next year it is a very very fun fall experience uh, not to mention the fact that they often have like fresh apple cider and apple cider donuts which is like that alone is worth going for <laughs> anyways my last favorite for this month and this is kind of where we get into the life update was my trip to Uganda and that was just such an amazing time. I was there for 10 days and I went with a nonprofit uh, that I work with called the Stoplight Approach. Actually I volunteer with and that's kind of what I was doing. They flew me out there but I volunteered my time while I was out there and I was doing photography, videography, and just some general marketing stuff for them which if you guys don't know is actually what my degree was in. So yeah, I was there, but it was my first time in Africa and it was just such an, an eye-opening experience. It is such a beautiful, like specifically Uganda, such a beautiful country. It's, you know, the people, the weather, the food, the uh, scenery, just all of it was, you know, everything was new and everything was just so different and so beautiful. Uh, the people there were some of the nicest ones that I have ever met, like just incredible human beings. Um, and then the scenery too, like where we were staying, we w could like look out of our porch and just see all of Kampala, which is the city we stayed in, um, below us with Lake Victoria in the background, surrounded by like these beautiful like rolling hills. It was just so incredibly gorgeous. I loved every moment of that experience maybe with the exception of when I got sick but uh, it was just like a little 14 hour food poisoning deal which was kind of a bummer but like couldn't soft dampen my enjoyment of that trip I feel like that came out weird but yeah it was just incredible I love trying like the different foods there I tried jackfruit I tried uh, papaya I had uh, all of these different kinds of local bananas and chapati and all kinds of amazing stuff so it was an incredible trip and um, one thing a little a little thing I brought back with me I'm not a huge souvenirs person but one thing Christopher and I have kind of started doing is picking up fun souvenirs um, specifically ornaments when we go places so I picked up this little guy it is a handmade zebra and it's it's made out of like the little reeds that they make baskets out of and it's just a little Christmas ornament of a zebra <laughs> and I think it's so so cute uh, the perfect way to just kind of like remind me of that time um, and I mean Christmas is such a sen sentimental time anyways that I've always loved having ornaments that like are meaningful to you personally and this is definitely one of those so yeah that was kind of some of the highlights of my trip what I did a little bit if you guys want to hear more about that maybe I could do a video on that let me know if that's something you're even interested in but yeah that was kind of you know some of the things that I've had going on this past month 
uh, some of my favorites just from this fall season. And yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed hearing this kind of update on what I've been up to and what I've been loving over the past few months. Um, if you guys are interested in the organic basics uh, active wear, I think it's really awesome. But I, like I said, they gave me a discount code, which I'll just go ahead and include here. You can also check it out down below if you're interested in it, give it a look at. But yeah, that is everything I have for you guys for this video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I'm so glad to be back. I love you all so much and I'll see you in the next one.